Hello, welcome back to Cooking with Sugar. And if you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. In today's video, I will be showing you how I make a lasagna toss. Okay, I'll be using a little over two pounds of ground beef, an onion, a green pepper, some minced garlic. You can use the fresh garlic if you choose to. Some seasoning salt. This seasoning right here, you can use any kind of seasoning you choose to. This is just what I'm using. Some zesty Italian dressing, not the regular Italian dressing. Four jars of pasta sauce. Some mild cheddar cheese. Six cheese Italian blend. And I'm using some oven ready lasagna noodles, two boxes. Okay. I added my ground beef to the pan. I'm going to put some seasoning in the bottom of the pan. I'm going to break the meat up just a little bit. Then I'm going to add some more seasoning on top. How little or how much seasoning you use is up to you. That's why I didn't give measurements. Because, listen, what may be salty to you may not be salty to me. So it's totally up to you. Now I'm going to chop the green pepper and the onion. Now that the meat is done, I'm going to add all four jars of the pasta sauce. Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of the minced garlic. We're going to add our chopped vegetables. Now I'm going to add a half a bottle of the zesty Italian dressing. Now I use zesty instead of regular because the zesty has more flavor. Comment below and let me know other ways y'all use salad dressing. Now I'm going to break my noodles up into pieces. It doesn't matter how big or small, it's up to you. Okay, and then we're going to turn it down and let it simmer until the noodles are as soft as you would like them. I don't like mine too soft. If you like more noodles than sauce, I suggest you add three boxes. I like more sauce than noodles. That's why I only added two boxes. So it's up to you. Okay, now that the noodles are done to my liking, I'm going to add a half a bag of each cheese. Okay, you can use the whole bag if you choose to, if you want it more cheesy. But that's not what I was going for. But you could do it. Hey, feel free, and please let me know how it turned out. Now we're going to mix it together. It's pretty much done once the cheese melts. Okay, this is what it looked like plated up. Yes, I have it on a paper plate because this was a weeknight. And I sprinkled a little Parmesan cheese on top for garnish. It looks better to me with a little cheese on top. That's just my opinion. I appreciate you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.